faced with choices every day, whether it's something big like choosing which way you're going to go to work or something small, uh, like which college you're going to go to. Well, actually, I reversed that. But anyways, we make choices every second of our life. We choose to be where we are and what we're doing. One bad choice that a lot of teenagers make is procrastination. Webster Dictionary describes procrastination as a task that you put off intentionally or habitually. Basically what this means is you choose to do something that's more enjoyable instead of doing something that's probably more beneficial to you in the future. So I started to wonder, does someone have a tendency to like procrastinate more than another group of people? So I surveyed teenagers and adults in my life and I found that around 60% of teenagers admit to procrastinating on a daily basis and about 60% of adults don't often procrastinate. They say that they don't procrastinate often and they don't, like honestly. So I thought, what causes this? Is it time management or is it some other factor? So I asked these same people what they, how they would rank their time management skills. <clears throat> Around 54% of teenagers admitted that they do think they have bad time management skills. And over 80% of adults admitted that they do have good time management skills. So this shows that as you grow older, your skills just develop and they become better. So to help yourself as a teenager to manage your time better, what should you do? Is it just something that you learn while you grow up or is there something you can do now? Well, mostly there's really nothing you can do now because your brain develops until you're 25 and your frontal lobe doesn't fully get there and you can't exactly make the right decisions. You tend to make riskier choices or bad choices. So, why is procrastination or making bad choices a problem? Well, procrastination creates stress and anxiety. It increases your level of hyperventilation and you would most likely not perform as where you would if you weren't stressed or if you didn't procrastinate. So, how can you tackle procrastination? You can tackle procrastination with three easy steps. One, <coughs> admit to yourself that you do procrastinate. So I know it's hard, but a lot of us find it very hard to admit to our friends about our bad habits. But at least, even if you don't tell the rest of the world, admit to yourself that you do procrastinate. Procrastinating not only hurts you, but it hurts your decisions as well, right? So the first step is to admit it. Second, you want to figure out why you procrastinate. For me personally, I would rather watch Netflix or talk to my friends than I would study for the ACT. So I realized that my biggest distractor was my phone. The third step is to eliminate this distraction. This looks different for everyone because everyone's different and everyone thinks different and everyone acts different. What I did was I made a, my screensaver something that reminds me that I have goals and tasks that I need to complete. It literally says, stop procrastinating, go get your work done or else you're getting nowhere. This is a good reminder to remind yourself that in life, if you want to succeed, you got to focus on what's long term as well as short term. But long term is what matters most. If you want to be happy and make yourself happier, don't procrastinate. Thank you.